All right. I am so excited to be here and share with you all the things that are going on. And it has been a crazy 18 hours, 18 hours. So um, I'm going to share this with you because it is really powerful on being able to share the behind the scenes of what actually happens. So I'm going there, I'm sharing, and I'm gonna share with you beautiful lessons that I've had in the last 18 hours that contributes to our million dollar marriage. So as you jump on, say hello. I'm just checking to make sure the Facebook group is good. Um, and let's do this. So I'm in Los Angeles. That was my niece that just walked by. And the last 18 hours has been pure health. I was already exhausted because yesterday I did a lot of emotional mastery work around a traumatic car accident that happened to me in December. And I was exhausted. I had, you know, work stuff and just life, you know, being a mom, an entrepreneur, a wife, all of the things. And then around seven o'clock, we realized that the leak that we thought my husband fixed from our outside coming in into the inside of our house was not fixed. So we spent the next, especially my husband spent the next 12 hours mopping around our water heater. So it would not over flood and flood all of our bottom part of our home. And um, it was incredible. It was the most stressful experience that we've ever gone through. It was a lot. Um, having that fear because the water was filling up so much because there was a huge storm in LA last night and the rain was just, the, the amount of rain that was coming wasn't justifying how much water was coming into our house. And in those moments, that three concepts that I'm going to share with you today to have a million dollar marriage, I use those. And I haven't even processed all the things of, of, of what happened yesterday. And so I may get a little emotional. I actually did some of the work. I did the fear release tool before I got on this live stream. And to be honest, I was going to cancel this because I was exhausted. We like didn't sleep at 4 a.m. It was raining the hardest. And my husband put a, a timer on his phone every 10 minutes to wake up and empty out the shop vac. It was like six gallons in the shop vac and empty it into a bigger bucket. Take that bigger bucket, walk it all the way downstairs through the deck outside to dump it. And it was happening like every five minutes, you know, before the alarm went off, the wet vac would make its like signal that it was full. And by the time my husband came back with the bucket, it was ready to dump again. And I have a shoulder injury from an accident in December where I opened up my door and somebody hit my car. It was so traumatic. So I was trying to help him. And then my shoulder was hurting. We were, um, I couldn't mop, right? I couldn't like do that motion of mopping. So I was outside trying to see if I can see what was happening outside and where the leak was coming from. And my husband and I, like he was on the other side of the wall. So he was like yelling for me because it was going so fast and he had to empty out the bucket and he was mopping. This is before we even had a wet, um, uh, a wet, uh, a wet mop, a vacuum, a wet vacuum. So he was just mopping it up and squeezing it out, mopping it up and squeezing it out. So he needed me to mop so he could dump the water and come back without it filling up so quick. Because as soon as it fills up, it floods my office, it floods our bathroom, and it just like it was crazy. And in those moments, I had all of these triggers happening, right? And this is the work, our, our relationship, our marriage, our intimate relationships are the most challenging, triggering and expansive relationships we can have to grow ourselves, to learn, to heal ourselves. So when my daughter and I came back in, my um, Michael was frustrated. He was stressed. He was worried. He's like, our house is going to flood. And so from that place, he's like, I need your help. Come over here, hurry up. And 
I got so triggered by that because that was, it brought up a lot of my childhood stuff on the stress, the tone, the frustration and all those things. So I started getting triggered. So in that place, he's like trying to fix the situation. He's in high stress and he's like, oh my gosh, like I got, I got to do this and I need help. And for me to be triggered then on how he's responding to me, that's how we used to be in, in, in our marriage. And it would just cause fights. It would cause resentment. It would cause disconnection and separation. So let me know if this is landing for anyone, if, whether you're watching live or on the replay, like, have you had situations like this of high stress? Like it's amazing when life is great and, 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 and everything is working, you know, according to plan. But when things actually happen, the shit hits a fan. Like, how are we connecting with our partner? How are we on the same team? How are we able to build that connection, that intimacy and support each other instead of being triggered by each other and rip, and rip each other's heads off in the process? And that's how we used to be. So the first thing that I did in that situation, I was literally walking in from the deck and like, I heard him and he's like yelling and I'm like, okay, hold on. I'm trying to take off my shoes and like, I'm sopping wet. Right. And then the dog comes in and the dog's like making a big mess. So I'm like, okay, hold on. I'm going to, I'm noticing that I'm getting very triggered by what it is that he's saying and how he's saying it. Right. The first thing for the anatomy of a million dollar marriage, number one is radical responsibility. What is that? Having radical responsibilities for our desires, for what it is that we want in our relationship, in our marriage, in, in, in our life, right? For me, I'm showing up right now, even though I had an hour of sleep, even though I'm exhausted, even though I didn't prepare anything, for this, I didn't have the time. I had every excuse not to come live and share with you. But my radical responsibility for my business is I want to share and I want to show up and I want to be my word. And every Wednesday I show up live, I want to share with you. I want to support you. I want to connect with the women that are ready to do this work. I want to inspire others to see what's possible. This is my radical responsibility in my business, which is why I'm choosing to show up, even though there's so many reasons to tell me that. I didn't need to. I had every excuse not to show up. So I do the same thing for my marriage. So last night in that situation, I asked myself, I'm like, wait a second, I'm getting so triggered by this. And then I immediately connected. Okay, it's stuff with my childhood. Got it. Um, I can I can process my emotions and use the energy expansion tool, which is one of the tools in the embodied and amplified method. And I was able to get back into the present moment. I was able to be aware, not process. I didn't have, and I didn't have 10 minutes in that time to process what was coming up and how, why I felt that way and what it was sent for. I wasn't able to use the butterfly tool is what we use for those types of situations when we know that we're triggered from something in the past. I didn't have time for that, but I did have the time to be aware and be like, hold on, before I snap back at him, before I have an attitude with him, before I bring in my triggered response, that pattern of protection, I am going to take a second, breathe, realize this is not about him, and then get into the present moment and see how I can support him. See him in the light in the eyes of going, oh my gosh, this is really stressful. If our house floods, then what? Instead of making it about me, because I take radical responsibility for my marriage. I want us to be connected. I want us to be on the same page. I want us to be intimate and, and really deepen over, we, we've been married 11 years, 12 years in June. I wanted to get better over time. I want to have so much fun with him. I want to be able to connect with him and have these, these, these beautiful conversations and these extraordinary experiences. So if I want that, how bad do I want it? Will I lead myself through that? Will I be able to, instead of making it about me, see where he's coming from and act in alignment with the long-term vision that I desire for my marriage? And that's radical responsibility. So let me know how that lands for you. In the past, in the past, I was a hot mess. I was a Scorpio. I was triggered all the time. I never processed my triggers. I was a big avoider. I didn't want to go there. I was just, I was just a walking trigger to be triggered and to experience trigger, to trigger others and be triggered by others. And so in my first marriage and then in the first few years of my second marriage, it was hard. We're triggering each other all the time. 
And when it was good, it was great. But when it was bad, it was like resentment. And um, with me, my, my toxic pattern before I, I implemented an embodied radical responsibility was withholding affection and the cold shoulder. The two things that I know is like his thing. He loves connection. He loves talking. He loves being close. I would sit there and I would hijack that from him. I would take that away from him as my pattern of protection to say, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. But when we look at that from just a, a bird's eye view to say, am I acting in alignment of what I want to experience? No. Do I really want to be that person in my marriage? No. What is happening? I'm reacting to something based on my wounds, based on my projections, based on my past triggers. Instead of responding from my values, my desires, my communication. Now, there is a difference. So I will talk about the third, the, the, the third step in a minute. But in that moment last night, I was like, I want to take radical responsibility. I want to do whatever I can right? And my shoulder was hurting. Like it's, it's getting worse. I'm going to the doctor in like an hour to see what is going on. So I wasn't able to help with that. So how could I help him? And he's like, okay, can you just stay up? It was at 4 a.m. Literally every five minutes, like it was like he had to start um, changing it out, right? So he's like, okay, just like, let me know in five minutes. I'm just going to like, in case I fall asleep, whatever I could do, I could, I was able to help him from a place of like, I got you. I'm here to support you like not the tip for tat energy or not from a place of guilt or shame. It was just like, I just want to be there for you. I want us to get through this. And this morning we had a conversation. We hugged and we're like, can you hear that wet back? That's like literally downstairs and in my office. So it's like far away. And so it's been going on for the last like 18 hours. So from that place of like, I got you, like, how can I help you? How can I support you? So then I can, um, be that wife that I want to be. I want to have that relationship that we have. So this morning when we talked about it, it was traumatic. It was a traumatic experience. It was like, we could have lost our house. We calculated about, um, he was probably moving five gallons back and forth. And he probably made like 25 to 30 trips, five gallons of water. So that's like 150 gallons. It would have devastated our home. And so um, it was It was one of those things that we were able to move through this together and we were able to have this experience together and not, um, and still be connected, more connected than ever, you know? And so that is so important. Step number two is the emotional mastery, right? This is so crucial. I've been in relationships. I've been in um, two marriages in corporate America with kids, like emotional mastery is key. And I did not growing up. My father was like, emotions are weak. Do not have emotions. So do not share your emotions. No one will take you seriously. Men won't take you seriously. But emotional mastery is so powerful to be able to lead yourself through the things that are going on. So we're not reacting from our emotions. We're leveraging our emotions into wisdom. I'm able to, in that moment, instead of strike back with a trigger, strike back with a, a, a attitude, strike back with um, hurt or expect an apology, right? Those are all um, reacting from my pain. But if I'm able to use emotional mastery, school, mastery tools like I used yesterday, on the energy expansion tool, the oh, simple awareness that I had to be like, wait a second, this whole feeling that I have in my body, the trigger that I am has nothing to do with my husband. It's got something to do with my childhood. Let me go ahead. That can get me back into the present moment. And then right before our call, I use a fear release tool because I felt inside. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so scary. And it gave me finally a chance to breathe and feel and experience and to allow myself to go through those feelings. So we can empty it out. We can dump it out. We can use tools to process through it, right? It doesn't have to take days, weeks. We don't have to meet with therapists or mentors or wait for our coach to respond to us. When we have a powerful toolkit that takes 10 minutes or less to process anything that's going on without re-traumatization, we're in our power. So if you have an emotional mastery tool, if you've got those things, use them. 
the moment that you have that awareness, the moment that you know, okay, hold on a second, this is going sideways. The way that I expected this conversation to go isn't going. The way this experience is happening, I was triggered in that moment. And what I wanted more than anything, what my desire was, radical responsibility for my desire in my marriage is to be on the same page, to be able to be like, you know, connect and we're able to do this. We're able to have fun doing this and we have passion experiences and we're so connected. I was the one that was able to create that instead of reacting from my wounds, reacting from how he triggered me from something else. And by having the emotional mastery tools, it just creates this awareness. Like now I'm able to see it. It's like those matrix moments, like in the moment, like you're like, you're able to catch the bullet before it hits you. It's like in that moment to be like, oh my gosh, I'm about to, like, I was about to like rar on him to be like, I'm working so hard. I'm in so much pain. You don't get it. Why are you talking to me like that? I don't like your attitude. Like, it's not my fault, right? Like these are all the things I would have said, but instead I was able to speak from a different space. I was able to be like, dude, I get it. He's stressed. He's got stuff going on. This is a very stressful situation. And he's like, he's physically exhausted, mentally exhausted. We don't know when the rain's going to stop. We don't know where the leak is. We got sandbags and we're like, do we put them in the right place? Where is the leak? It's so freaking dark outside. Like it was crazy. And then in the hot tub, we got into the hot tub, um, late morning and we're like, gosh, what if our power went out? So even in that place, we're able to have a conversation and actually feel a little bit of gratitude of what happened where it could have been so much worse. And this is the marriage that I've always wanted. It's like, yeah, it's amazing. We have like an amazing intimate connection. We have the most incredible sex. And we also have this beautiful partnership where we're there for each other and we can have big conversations and we can be vulnerable and we can be terrified. We're like, we almost lost our house yesterday. And I was able to look at him with so much gratitude in my eyes and be like, you're my hero. Like, thank you so much for being able to just do this. I could have never done it. So I can look at him with admiration. I can thank him. I can be fully appreciative for him without the guilt or the shame that I wasn't doing enough because I was able to heal all of that shit. I was able to move through and have the emotional mastery tool so I could be in alignment with who I want to be to have the marriage I want to have. Does that resonate? Let me know. I'm not looking at the Facebook comments, but I'm going to go ahead and look. Hi, 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 everyone that's joining. So let me know how this lands for you. It's just so important for us to be able to recognize and really ask yourself, how bad do we want it? Do we want the million dollar marriage? Do we want that relationship that is so passionate, but we're waiting for our partner? We're like, okay, well, he's got to do it. He's got to step up or she's got to step up. I've already did this. The tip for chat. Okay, well, now they've got to work on it. I'm waiting for, 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 for them to make the first move, or I've already gone to therapy. Now they need to go. Is that indicative? Is that the type of relationship you want to have? And that's who I was in my first marriage and in my second marriage, but we're able to change that. And so my, my marriage revolutionized because of me, because I became the leader for our love, because I was willing to do the work and heal because I was willing to take radical responsibility for my desires, for the type of, of, of sex we have, for the passion that we have, for the connection that we have. I don't need to wait for him to do that because I want it. It's my desire. So I'm claiming it. I'm becoming the woman that he wants, the woman that, that, that turns him on, the woman that he's always excited about. I do that work to not need him but deeply desire him. I don't need him to make me happy. I don't need him to tell me that I'm beautiful. I don't need him to tell me that I'm enough. I don't need him financially. I don't need him for any of these things. I have given that to myself and I do the work every single day to give that to myself. And then he's able to confirm me. He does it from a place of desire, not from a place of pressure or have to, right? Because I put so much weight on the relationship. And then it goes into step three, which is the win-win communication, right? Knowing this. So I was able to have a conversation with my husband in the hot tub and I let him know like how I felt and saying, you know, what, I totally understand what was happening. And when you said that, I definitely like got triggered of like what was going on and how like you spoke to me. And, you know, I, I wish that 
it was a different tone, but I realized that that was a bigger trigger for me because of what happened in my childhood. So we're able to have a conversation about it where he doesn't need to apologize for anything. I'm able to let him know what's going on. He did apologize, but he didn't need to. And I'm able to share with him what was going on. I'm able to share with him the most vulnerable things. I'm able to share with him the times where he does something to mess up, right? Something that did hurt my feelings, something that had something to do with him. But as I process the emotion, as I extract my inner wisdom, as I get clear of what it is that I want next and where I want our relationship to go and always having the long-term vision of our marriage in mind, that is how I speak. That is how I communicate with him. Those, the, the words that I say, the energy that I say it, the, 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 the way that I say it is with the long-term vision in mind. And I create win-win communication. And it's great because as a 5-1, I am I love to explore. I'm in eight different programs right now. I have 16 years in corporate America where I was doing a lot of personal development in corporate and uh, being a part of HR and, and running those and participating in them. So the win-win communication is just so powerful to be able to honor each other, be able to come up with a win-win where both people are happy, not sitting on like each side of the table and trying to get your feelings hurt or trying to get what you want. It's coming together, being on the same side and coming up with a win-win for everyone. And that is the anatomy of a military marriage. Number one, radical responsibility. What is it that you want? How do you want to feel? What do you want to experience? What is, what do you value? What is that in your relationship, in your current or your future relationship, in your marriage? What is it that you want? So many times we go to counseling or we get married, we spend so much time like, you know, on figuring out the ring and the dress and all of those things. But do we get really clear on what we want in our marriage and how we want to feel and the long-term vision and creating a manifesto for the most important relationship in our life besides ourself. People will say kids, but I feel like it's myself, my marriage, then my kids. So, you know, a very important relationship. Like, how do you want to be? How do you want to feel on a regular basis? How do you want to be connected intimately? What are your desires? Right. And the more that we start exploring that, the more that we start expanding it, the more that we start healing the guilt and the shame and the and the cultural beliefs and the conditionings of our ancestors and the generations. As we start pulling those things apart and healing those things and releasing the things that were never ours to take on, that we never asked for, that are not in alignment with what it is that we want. Like in my cultures, there's a lot of martyrdom. Be the martyr, put everyone else first. No. No, thank you. I don't subscribe to that. Love that. That's amazing for other people. It's not for me. Done. We're not doing that. I put myself first. It's not selfish. It's selfful. And then I get to serve from overflow. Right. And then I don't need my kids or my husband or anyone to validate me because I'm filling myself up. They don't need to fill me up. And then when they do things for me, it's from a place of, uh, of desire and not obligation or expectation. I've had a lot of that growing up and it was so hard to be that person, the source of validation, the source of like that obligation energy, right? So how can we lead ourselves? How can we fill ourselves up? How can we take radical res responsibility for our desires? And as I satisfy myself, as I do the work, then my husband doesn't need to fill that gap in. As I do the work to heal myself when I'm triggered, as I do the work to become the person and act in that way and speak in that way of what it is that I want in my marriage and being that version of Indrani to call that in. That is radical responsibility instead of going to my past patterns of hurt or needing him to be something for me. The more that I take radical responsibility, the more everything shifts, right? That's for all of our relationships. How bad do we want it? And how, what are we willing to do to achieve it? And it gets a lot easier with number two, emotional mastery. And being able to have the tools. This is what we do in the EA method. When you're triggered, you go into the group, you type it in, Johnny, I'm triggered about this at any time. 
And then I go through and I'll, uh, and I'll see it and I'll either give you what one of eight tools that we use to work on. And if it's a powerful one, I'm going to do a custom um, process for you using one of the tools for, for you to work through, because the more that we work through the triggers that come up, the more we clear it out of our system, right? We're clearing it out. It's like we, we clean our bodies. We clean our sinks. We wash our dishes. We wash our clothes. We wash our car. Are we washing through our emotions? Are we clearing them out instead of allowing them to build and build and build? And we're brushing it under the rug. We're brushing it under the carpet or the rug, right? We're brushing it under the rug and it piles up, piles up. We're going to continue. We're going to start tripping on it. And that's what would cause huge arguments with me and everybody in my life, my husband, my brothers, my parents, even my kids. It would be like this built up. And then all of a sudden we go postal, right? right? We explode. And it was like, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be that anymore. So as I noticed that I'm triggered, it was like yesterday, I was like, whoa, a lot came up as I was preparing for this call right now, a lot came up. So I spent a few minutes and I'm like, hold on, let me move through this. Let me use the fear release tool. Cause I feel it so much. And instead of my pattern of repressing it and then allowing it to come up without control, right. Randomly when somebody says something, it's the last strong. And I'm like, ah. You know, and it's like, it's not about the pasta. It's not about that tiny thing. It's the buildup of everything. And then that causes unnecessary suffering for myself and my husband. So if I'm able to work through it, uh, as when I notice that I'm aware of it, can I do the work right away? Or if not, can I do it within 24 hours so I can start processing through these things and being able to have Different emotional mastery tools that you can do in 10 minutes or less is key. So if you've got those tools, use them on a regular basis. I use the EA tools every single day on things that happen. The little triggers that happen, you know, with, you know, my kids saying that they're going to do the dishes and they don't trigger. Um, when my husband burps and looks at me, it's the most annoying thing. Trigger, move through it. Um, something online or somebody, some, some coach has the result that I want and I'm triggered. Okay. I'm going to use it to do the work, to clear what is there that is ready to come up to clear a past situation, an emotion, a wound from the past. And as we do that, we become more and more in alignment with what it is that we want. We become more clear. We get to take more precise action. We're able to act in alignment of what it is that we desire. We're able to use our inner wisdom instead of allowing our sabotage to take that next step. And as a result, we start creating what it is that we want. And then the last thing is once we're able to have that, once we're able to do our inner work with getting clear with our desires, taking radical responsibility, doing the work, having a toolkit to do the work, then it's the win-win communication to be able to have powerful communication with your partner where you're able to express your truth, where you're able to speak your truth and feel safe for saying it and also have them feel safe and being able to have it set in a way where they can really understand it and feel you and not have to fix you. That's a completely different thing. And then the win-win co um, communication is then both of you walk away, incredible. Both of you walk away going, oh my gosh, I feel good, I feel complete, right? It's not about, I need this, or I need to get my way, or it's this, like, you know, my dad will, would always say, it's uh, my way, the wrong way, right? It's like, no. We get to create something new. We get to come up with suggestions. We get to create something and do it in alignment with what feels good to both of us. And I feel like the win-win communication is everything. And when we're, we're able to have that, when we have that emotional mastery, when we're taking responsibility for what it is that we want, when we are doing our own work first, so we speak and we act and we, we, we communicate from a place of our desires for our long-term vision. And that's the work. So let me know how this lands with you. Let me know what your biggest thing is. It's really, I mean, it's, it's easy, but it's not simple, right? So in the situation that your practical takeaway from this is getting really clear and saying, okay, the last time that I was triggered in my 
current or my past relationship, right? This happened. What, like, what, what was going on? What was my trigger? Was there something in the past that was connected to it? Did it bring something else up? So with my husband, he, when he spoke to me and he was really frustrated and he was yelling, it was like trigger. Oh my gosh. And I had a big reaction inside. I felt a lot of hurt and anger. And as I asked myself, is this my, is this, is this from the past? It was. And once we know that, that is our cue to say, okay, let me get back into the present moment. Use a tool to ground yourself, to like release the emotion and put in the emotion that you want so you can be present in the moment. And then when you do have 10 minutes, go ahead and use a tool to process through it, to extract the wisdom through that tr trigger. So the next time it happens, that trigger won't be as intense or the trigger will just go away, which has happened for me in so many situations that I've continued to do the work to heal the situations coming up. And now the trigger is just not even there. It's just a little blip, blip where before it would take me out. And then you're able from that place of healing, from that place of desire, from that place of value, have that one-one -one communication with your partner. Let them know what was going on. If you need to, you don't need to talk to them about everything. But if there is something to be said, you're able to use a beautiful framework in coming up with a win-win communication framework. I'll be teaching a program on this um, later on this year. And being able to have a powerful communication around that is everything. So I hope that lands. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is. What is the thing that you can take from this? And knowing that it is a continuous journey. It's amazing when our relationship is in the healthiest place. It's amazing when it's like, it feels good and easy and connected and, and you guys are on the same page and things are just happening. That's, that's amazing. And it's easy. But when things happen, when stressful things happen, when things don't go to a plan, when there's unforeseeable things, like at four in the morning, we're like, oh my God, just watching the weather going, holy shit, when is this going to stop? It was out of our control. We didn't know how long it was going to be. And we're joking around about it today. We're like, it's like a real world, world challenge to be like, okay, you're going to, that at any time, you're going to hear an alarm go off or the bell go off. You've got to take this water. You've got to dump it into this bucket. You got to put it back in and turn it back on and take the bucket and dump it out and then come back. And, and right. It's like, oh my gosh, being able to go through that experience with a connection and appreciation and being able to do it together and being on the same page instead of feeling alone with that, like you alone on an Island is everything. And that is just as important to me as anything else. It's just as important to me as having the incredible vacations and the extraordinary moments and the passionate sex, like all of that is incredible. And being able to have someone that you can go through these experiences with and grow through and go through the shit with and eat the shit sandwiches. And instead of that tearing you apart, it brings you closer together. That's the million dollar marriage. So let me know what your biggest takeaway is. I am doing something a little crazy. So depending on when you're watching this live stream, it still may be available or not. Um, I've got 20 calls I'm doing. I already have applications in, um, but if you are interested in doing a relationship mapping call, and this is for women that have successful businesses, successful careers, and you're like, okay, I want that success in my marriage. Like in my, in my marriage, in my long-term relationship where I want to call that in, if you're looking for steps, if you're ready to do the work, if you're ready to go all in, I would love to offer you one of these free calls so we can get really connected and we can see what is going on. And I'm able to support you and share with you what your custom next three steps are to be able to create your version of a million dollar marriage. So if you want a relationship mapping session, just go ahead and comment below map or DM me map, whichever one is easier for you. And I can talk to you about that. Pleasure Queen is still open. It's still available. So if you're ready to take radical responsibility for your desires now, if you're like, you know what? I want to experience more pleasure in my relationship, in my life, in my everyday life, in my body. Pleasure Queen is incredible. The work that we are doing, my clients are getting results right after the first session. She um, created the manifesto and she wanted her husband to initiate um, sex. And, and then the next day he's been doing it ever since. And she hasn't even told him anything, right? Um, the shadow work we're doing around the guilt and the shame about wanting more about pleasure, about sex, about receiving, about um, asking for more, 
right? We did work around that. And then the last workshop we did, which was on um, Tuesday, yesterday, gosh, these days are spinning into each other, was all about expansion of our desires when it comes to our sexuality, when it comes to sex and passion and um, it was just really fun to be able to go through and, and walk you through different, um, different tools to be able to unlock what is that next breaking, shattering your glass ceilings and edging with your comfort level on pleasure and sex and all the things. So the next call is on Tuesday, and that is where we're going to go deep into duality, and it's going to be a Q&A. So if you want to get in, it is absolutely incredible. It's, it's um, lifetime access, and everyone that joins now, you will also get a free spot in the next round when I teach it live. So if you're interested, um, the price is 2222 but it's 888 for up until Tuesday. So if you want to jump in, if you want to do that, if you want a payment plan or pay in full, just DM me PQ. I can send you the information and we can just have a little bit of a back and forth on the DMs just to make sure it's the right next step for you based on what it is that you want. If you want to go all in and you're like, I want all of it. I'm ready to go. I want to be the, the, I want to have the, the toolkit and a method to embody and amplify my leadership so I can have all the relationships that I want. I'm able to process my emotions and really be the master and the intentional creator of my reality by doing this work and tapping into my inner wisdom, healing myself and not having to wait on anyone else. EA is open for enrollment is absolutely incredible. The price is going up. It's $3,000 for three months and it's 7,500 for nine months. If you want to jump into that, if you want to learn more about that, I can send you over some information in the welcome video just to get you to have a feel of like the work that we're doing there to see if it's a good fit for you. And this is for my programs work best for the women and handful of conscious men, handful that are ready to do the work that have already had success in other places that are the A type personality. That's just like, they don't need the motivation, but they want the space. They want the tools. They want the embodiment. They want to ask the questions. They want to receive the support. They want to create a, a marriage that is just as successful as their business. They want to use the tools in their business when they get triggered to have those hard conversations, to work through the comparison, to be able to really be that leader of their lives and be able to imp improve the relationship with themselves by doing the inner work, the easiest way, simplest way possible. And the EA method, I teach you the simplest way to do this, have the accountability and the space to be able to ask questions and get hot seat coaching. And they've got the desire and they know that they want something, they want resources, they don't want to wait for their therapist next session, they don't want to wait for their coach, they don't want to wait for their mentor, they want to be able to have the toolkit to be like, okay, I'm triggered, what do I do? They want to be able to go press on a video, have me walk them through it in 10 minutes or less, and then be able to be good to go. They want to be able to ask questions. So their custom thing that's coming up for them in their marriage, in their relationship with their parents, with their body image, in their business, they want that hot seat coaching. So then they can get that custom support five times a month to be able to step into their power, to be able to be the creator of their reality. They know that it's work and they want to do, and they're excited. Those are the women that get the most powerful results from this program and it changes their life. In the A program, my clients that most of them stay in it in the legacy program and they just like pay the monthly to stay in. Um, and the ones that end up going still tell me today that they use the tools every single day. So it's not a program that, that you do and then you forget about it later and it creates dust on that shelf. It's something that you will use for the rest of your life every single time you get triggered, every single time you have road rage or your kids say something or your partner does something or you notice that you're triggered by someone on social media that has what it is that you want. When you realize there's shadows coming up, there are tools for every single thing that happens and the support to help you. And the one of my clients who just joined was like the level of vulnerability. And that is incredible. And she felt safe on the first day to share something that she hasn't told anyone else. And I was able to give her support through it where she saw a result 
on her next date night two days later. So the work works when we do it. So if you have any questions at all, if you want to know if this would be a good situation, if you're not really sure, but you're like, you know what, I know I want to do something. If you're like, you know what, I want to do that. I'm saving up for it. I would love to start with something. We have programs that are $55 to $50,000. So if you want to jump into my DMs and be like, Andrani, I'm not really sure what it is that I want, but I know that I want to do something. Can you help me? Then we can just go back and forth on DMs and see what you're looking to achieve, what you've already tried, and what is a price point that feels really safe for you to do. And based on that, we can come up with your next, your right next step, whether it's with me, whether it's with somebody else, whether it's a paid offer that I have or a free masterclass, I would love to support you because we are here to have it all. We're here to be the creators of our reality. We can have anything that we desire. It's just about how bad it is that we want it. And if we're taking radical responsibilities for our desires to make it happen and do the work required to get what we want. I love you so much. I will see you next week. Again, if you have questions, let me know. If you've got questions about what I share with the anatomy of million dollar marriage, let me know. And if there's content or topics that you want me to talk about, let me know, post it here, send me a DM and be like, Andrani, can you talk about this? And if it lights me up, I'm a 5-1 manifesting generator, sacral authority, I will go live on it and share with you micro content. I love you so much. And I will see you next week.